Welcome back, strategy gamers. This is Victoria 3. We are continuing our Let's Play as Spain, looking to get the Bourbon for Everyone achievement, as well as some rightful Spanish clay across the world, reclaiming the Spanish Empire. Aggressive operations. Now, our war was for this Western New Guinea. It's just Banjar here, who we have nothing to gain from. But we don't have a huge amount to gain. The Dutch getting Bali, us getting reparations from Qing, but Qing is a huge nation. So I think a capitulation at this point would give us what we wanted and lose us next to nothing. So we're going to capitulate. Following war culture enforced, none. Now, if we look at the other war we've been pulled into, this one with the British, there is British reparations to be paid. And again, I think we have done our part, Britain. We need to rebuild our kingdom. We are going to come out and leave you to that conflict. So now we are at peace. We can look to rebalance the books, hit on pause. Now let's look. We have dropped the sixth. We were third. The Austrians, the Russians, the North Germans have all overtaken us in prestige. The, the ability to get anarchist parties has now been unlocked. We need to look at things that gain us prestige. Our standard of living has dropped to 14.9. We were over fifth Britain now that we're out of the war. And now we can trade with the Qing and Russia again. Groceries, sure. Grain from Qing. That's one of the ones that's going to really help bring back down the price of grain. Grain went right up. I think it's one of the things that really hurt the standard of living. So the lower strata are st still considered impoverished. We look, what are they? Their population. Look at the lower strata. They're paying a lot for services, clothes, grain. No, they're not paying a lot for grain. But they're paying a lot for services. So I think we could look to bring down coffee. There you go. There's P treaty and the British lost that war. Defense of government goods, coal. We don't need the artillery anymore. Input, goods, shortage, transportation, and silk. Oh, let's bring in silk. Fix that problem. Transportation just requires building more. Banjar is in a war with the Dutch Indies. So you are looking to... Urban center has... Here, have a port. Get the level up. Railway... A railway rubber can't get it yet city of plenty the most prominent members of marrakesh high society have been seen organizing luxurious parties plus 10 percent loyalists with both of those groups permanently for just for nine years yep unused arable lands five and um, so dies it's one of the things that's quite expensive for us get that up to 50. iron is First increase. These use two each. Use one. Iron mine's definitely two. Yeah. So that's 10, 15, one, uh, 15, uh, 19. And you're currently only have 15 capacity, but ports will give you five plus 20 infrastructure. Population like 156 and growing and the colony is now growing and it's joined up just need this little bit of land here which is dutch you fuckers oh bastards put us off nearly got the whole coast so that's growing in 431 days come over to what's happening here 272 152 good very good very good this one is the one that joins us up tech a no we need boenga as well um, we go to our budget, we can lower military wages back down, we increase it to get a bump in military efficiency. We don't have a huge amount of authority to play with, very low in bureaucracy as well actually. Getting some power plants online, then some sulfur, then some iron. One of the things we might need to look to do is here, build some bureaucracy. Port. You then have we're over. So that port will put you yeah, put you back in the green and then we have what your production is profitable. Siloisi the room, you're growing port as well. Logging is not profitable. 
Well, it's profitable. Not usually efficient. Okay. Grand. So, that is a nice bit of Spanish clay over here. And then the Philippines. If we look at the Philippines. Make a play to... We'd have to disimprove our opinions with them to make a play to just conquer them. They haven't built a navy, but their military is for us. They have four and a half million people. A of ours, they're improving relations with Russia. Let's have some truces. What's our bad boy at? 36. Plenty of room. Back over into Africa. Or any anyone we could take on. Matic plays Bunker State. Geldy. Okay. So any, oh, yes, actually. Back. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You have a defensive pact with the Dane. Oyo has no friends. Sokoto has a defensive pact with the Grammy back here. You have only 100,000 people. Don't care about you. But 5 million people in Niger. Another 2.7 million people in... Sorry, there's 600,000 people in Niger. 2.7 million in East Hoseland. 1.6 in Hoseland. And Daihomi has 600,000 as well. Look at the Homi itself. They have a port. They have coffee, tobacco, dye, no rubber yet. Oyo, tooling, furniture, no rubber has shown up here. I think if we get it, the more likely to show up. There is iron and lead, coffee and dye inland, coal to possibly get our production up. They have a university in their capital. Okay, yeah, so I think there's definitely a war play to be made here. Bad boy is fine. We need to get back conquering. Could argue that we need to let our money tick back into a positive place, but we do have millions in good reserves. And your argument would be strong, in fairness. So, coal. Let's move. It's coal to the top. Which we will get port, government administration, out of it. Power plants and sulfur mines will be built. So these two sulfur mines are like super finished. So is this power plant. Here we go. Man of Wars. Okay, so transportation is one we could look at. True industry. Expanding the industry is what subsidizes anymore. Other industry. And yeah, that was an increase. So public carriages come in with combustion engine. Shipyards. Oh, here we go. Military. Here's the ability to make ironclads. 120, 150 thing. Shipyards shifted to extensive military shipbuilding, iron based rather than man of war based. We're making steamships, steamers. So, yeah, we're shifting from steamers and, yeah, we're shifting the steamers and ironclads. So, coal is absolutely a huge priority. Still on iron frame buildings. Our construction center is rather massive. There's a case to be made for reducing it further. Uh, untrained hands. Morali uh, mortality increases in manufacturing. That's not great. Uh, Belarus gets 10%. Urbanized Spain. How close are we? 65%. Ammunition is low. That's profitable. Men of Wars. Aren't profitable, but aren't we shifting away from them? Now we can declare interests to the French. Have, ugh, gobbled up nearly all of this space here. Let's get... Oh, Great Britain has already started. Yeah, let's get into this space here. North German Federation dealing with the Polish uprising. Transportation is still an issue. Uh, Celebes down here. Ports that we're building. Are they, are they buried in this queue? Goes up. Get some railways prioritized as well. Industry. Government administration. These were like super close to me, so we'll let them finish. We want those ports built. Debt and taxes. Uh, Violetta, the head of the trade unionists, has suddenly died while drafting legislation on graduated taxation law. Spain gets a plus 20% in enactment time, but we make 10% progress. Or we, yeah, no, let's make progress because it's gone from 4 to 14. Urbanize Spain. There is breech-loaded rifles, peace treaty. Um, 
Yeah, we won this war. Oh, the Dutch, <laughs> the Dutch hung on <laughs> until now and have now left. So the Dutch continued fighting, but we got what we wanted. We got the Celebes, uh, the Malaccas, we got Western New Guinea, we got another part of Celebes. Yeah, thanks Dutch. And I think we're going to shift tact here. We need to gain prestige. So we'll, get, so we'll do some society research to gain prestige. So the Malaccas is at 98% and is that because it is overbuilt? It is overbuilt. So build another port. And then transportation remains an issue and we have high tension in a number of places. And we're colonizing 200 days, days, 50 days. Yet another colony and to the other side of Papa. Mile, North Cameroon. Is, oh, we probably don't need our social mobility here anymore. We, and so we can use Satarity to help push forward this station or make problem. Minus 31. Soldiers are 6 million. Look at a consumption tax. Tobacco. We're taxing taxes. Luxury close. Boom. Wipes out our deficit. Fifth in the world. 1100. No, back above North Germany. 15.8. Better higher than everyone apart from French. And the major nations. The Dutch have gone over uh, 20. Pensions you know, increasing. Trade agreement with Peru Bolivia. Sure. I have free trade, so no tariffs to be, to be charged. Browsing speech. We get plus 15% enactment chance or he or the armed forces gained some popularity. The Dutch and the North have embargoed the North uh, German Federation. Um, good luck. You know, let me let me know how that one works out for you, Cotton. So they have wrapped. They have taken Hanover and Mecklenburg and a few small little bits left. Old Nassau, Nassau, uh, what Bavaria is a rogue state now. At the bottom as well. And you still have Alsace. So I think they might need to take Alsace to be able to form Germany itself. In slow market access in Navarra, which has now gone over its production max on ports. So we'll give it a railway. That railway bring it built. We could look at expanding motor industries, armed services, power plants. Oh, we have one power plant. Oh, we were one of the things we were looking at was Western Andalusia has three power plants. We need something to use those power plants. Which was uh, urban center itself, yes. Could shift to electric street lights, which would use up AC electricity, bring up AC coal, and generating 160 services. There's camera unlocked. Feminism would be reasonably useful. Bureaucracy improvement, better than it anyway. Station capacity, home plus. Steel frame buildings, might think about. Driving forward, so. Roborush, yes please. Spanish East Angola or Kajanda. Oh, I definitely have Spanish East Angola, so that one. Um, Toledo has one power plant, the 50 electricity. Its urban center would need 50 for electric street lights, so we'll do that. All play and no work. What have you been doing? One of our generals, master, personal habits, leaders, Italians in hire a uh, general. Africa will take the traditionalist commander of the armed forces. You have you bureaucracy efficiency actually, which tells me I politics and institutions and make sure all of these are at maximum. Are so we need we unlock. Tell us which ones we get. How we unlock these? Oh, excellent! We've been making great progress in pushing forward graduated tax, which is just going to skyrocket our money when that comes in. Where's the other places I had power plants? Capital is on that one. Valencia was it? Here it is. That's generating 50. You use 60. So that would be a slight deficit, but I ha I can grab it from Western and which has about 110 and is using 80. And services is one of those things quite expensive. That's coming down. Well, but everyone uses services. So we have like a minus 3,000 deficit of services and it's not something you can import. Now, transportation is one that we really need to get under control. 
expensive government goods, steamers, what any, and from the British and the French and the Austrians. North Cameroon is the last place remaining in turmoil. Coming down to incorporate it. There is mainly no Spanish there. Rural folk, industrious, intelligentsia, incorporate North Cameroon. Could we incorporate here? Yeah. About Bogo over here. But oh, it's already incorporated. So it needs to have freedom of trade. Okay. Temporary embarrassment. Ambitious middle strata citizens oppose, opposing the graduated tax on the grounds that they would be inevitably become wealthy capitalists. Uh, so we get minus 10 enactment chance and the they get plus three minimum expected standard of living. Oh, we get plus 10 and there's a, and there's a span the tax cut. No. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, well, I want the plus 10. Check that along. Oh, did you see how much that cost? Wow. Graduation taxation can't come soon enough. Only 35% chance. Marketplace of the world, defense in Toledo. The Spanish market has grown famous worldwide. Welcoming uh, and open to foreign trade. Sell, sell. Plus 10 exports per trade route. Or buy, buy, buy. Plus 10 imports. This is really interesting. Do we have more imports or exports? Probably imports. Okay, if we flood goods in, it would lower their costs. If we export out, it will increase their costs. I think we're going to buy. Added 3k to our costs, add 5k to our costs. Um, now we can't incorporate this place because it's still colonizing. In the wrong lens. Relations need to be less than 50 for me to try and incorporate you. We are currently at 50, so if I expel your diplomats, I could look to just absorb you. And your 2 million people that are doing nothing for me militarily. If we look at your two states, Textile mills and furniture manufacturing. You have the ability to have coaling and whaling, and you're not built doing whaling. What was my bad boy again? Oh, I'm down to reputable. Oh, yeah. Marina, I told you you were warned. You failed to build a navy. Get wrecked. In damaging relations as well. To the rash, plus 20. They need to be... Was it minus 50? Unproductive trade route. Get rid of it. We can export sulfur and iron. If I export iron, it will bring down its cost. If I export sulfur, it will bring down its cost. We can import engines. We can import glass. We won't bother. We can import clothes. Import tea. We can import porcelain. We can import explosives. Wow, that was a profitable route to do. Grocery. Unproductive trade route. That steamer route is yo yoing and profitability. Trade agreements in danger of unused control. Oh, okay, we've finished building. Okay. An event. Taxation is tapped. Fringe group of movements to preserve per capita. Taxation have gained remarkable traction. We gain minus 20% enactment success chance. Well, we can't afford <laughs> We can't afford the short-term taxation effect again. So we have to do this one. So... Our budget is massively green because we're not building. Okay, now let's look at our market. Steamers, not profit. Well, so from a military point of view first, this region here uh, now has Crucigen. Okay, I don't need to recruit you. You are based in the Congo and have sufficient. You're just building up. Just going to take time. Switch to Arnclats. This is maybe why I still need Man of Wars. Let's switch everyone over to Arnclads. That should get rid of our Man of War needs, does, and we now need Ironclads. Nobody's selling them. Ironclads completed. Doctrine in Iron and Steam. The introduction of vessels with metal skinned hulls represents nothing less than a revolution in naval warfare. Near impervious to the traditional types of shot, Admiral Felix Cervera, who went to the Congo, assures us that Spanish dominion seas will be absolute. We gain armored line of battle for nine years plus 10 percent navy defense or we gain metal ba bows metal rams what could go wrong plus 20 percent navy offense minus 10 percent navy defense or the default option is plus 10 percent navy power projection i think we'll take this one we can support more interests and i think we want to have a look at indochina their interests yep done that 
Uh, we still need to sort out our transportation problems. And oh yes, construction. Okay, so we will have a look at resolving our construction needs in the next episode. Thank you for watching the series. Really appreciate the engagement. Do comment down below if you think I should be doing something different, engaging. You know, there was some great tip uh, on an earlier episode about the lack of resourcing artillery into the military. And I think you'll see from our more recent war in the Indonesia area that we put a lot of effort into making sure the military was properly funded and had access to its resources. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Victoria 3. I'll catch you on the next one.